Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and of course can leave your very valuable feedback. Your feedback has really evolved uh, tremendously in my video quality and I expect that you keep coming your love with me and I promise you that I guarantee you this quality education will be all the way long in your hands. So let's try to proceed in this lesson and what we have got in this lesson for you is really, really interesting. Again, a new lesson, a new challenge, lesson number 20. And I know that some of your eyes might glit up that, hey, we have got a new lesson, really exciting. And really this lesson is exciting one. You, I guarantee you that you might have never seen such an injection before. So this lesson 20 is, uh, you can simply call it as a self-contained application that is being created. So we are going to pen test that. First of all, we for that we have to move it from the root desktop lesson to slash war www master. Once we do that and do a quick ls, we know that file is being out here. We can simply unzip the contents of lesson 20 dot zip. And now you can see there are lots of files being available uh, in this particular. Now also in advance what I have done, I have already started my Apache, I have started my MySQL and I have logged in into that prompt. Now this is really simple, you can also do that. Uh, till now if you are following me the, in the series and you have completed the series till now, I expect that you might have done this much. So I would really like to uh, launch my Firefox browser. You can launch it from the command prompt, you can launch it from anywhere you wish localhost lesson number 20 this time. Okay, so first of all, as just a tester, we are going to just test this application. Is it working fine or not? So first of all, it says login to continue and I will start my command prompt. I will use the database as security and then I will give it a query to find out all the username and password that is select star from users and here are all the passwords the password that i am quite aware is admin and admin so let us try to log in with that so first of all let's try that uh, that's just you know the best tester is which the tester which knows nothing about the testing he's just going to do random strips and everything out there so first of all let's try forgot your password so it says so sweet i cannot help you watch the video and hack it Okay, accepted that you are not going to tell me the password as forgot password, great. Then we have got a new user click. Let me click on that. It says you can create a new account with desired username and password. Let's say if I create an account with let's say uh, Hitesh, the password is going to be Hitesh, again Hitesh and type if it is working. It says if it does not redirect, I think it has done everything. So let me just again hit the query and you can see Hitesh and Hitesh. Okay, so it's working. Also, let me try to log in with that account. Let's say in this case, I want to log in with the admin, admin. Login. Okay, you are logged in as the admin. You can also change the password here. So current password is admin. New password is, let's say, hello. Retype it as a hello, reset it. So password successfully updated. Let me again verify it if it is working or not. Okay, so the admin password is now hello. Now here comes the interesting part. Let me first log out from this and one small task for testing for you as well. Try to test out this particular form on the index page that if it is vulnerable or not. We have used so many strip slashes, so many filters and everything out here. So let us just try if it is vulnerable or not and that's up to you only. I'm just going to show you a new injection out here. New user click here. So let's check out what happened if I try to have a admin and then give it a password as A. Let's give it up again password A. If I try to register it says the username already exists. Please choose a different name. Now it says yeah that might be an interesting because like me, you might have also started to uh, love all these errors and errors are really, really great. So let's click on this new user again. And I know that 
the strip slashes, single quotes, double quotes, backslashes are not going to work here. Still, I want to give it a try. So let's try to give it admin, single quote, hyphen, hyphen. And let us give some password. So the password would be, let's say, uh, ASDF. That would be a really awkward password, ASDF. So I registered. Now successfully, it has created an account for me. Now that can be really dangerous uh, if it is being able to do so. But we notice that it's just a username, admin single quote space hyphen hyphen. Nothing wrong has been done so far. So let's try to log in with that username as well. If the things are working for us, it's admin single quote hyphen hyphen. And then the password is ASDF. I log in with that. Okay. So now admin and admin single quote hyphen hyphen are two different usernames, just like Hitesh and Hitesh, two different ones. So really a bad example I have come out with. But now here comes the actual injection part. The current password is ASDF. New password is one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. I try to reset it. It says password updated successfully. Now here comes the vulnerable part and you might get shocked after seeing this. Watch out it very carefully. That admin has got a hello as the password. Hitesh has got a password Hitesh. Admin single quote has got a password of ASDF. Now let's again retry it. Now eventually I tried to change the password of this admin single quote as ASDF to 1234 but what has happened, the admin has got the change the password as 1234. Now, this is really a dangerous injection, it can happen. Now, some of you might have already dis uh, find out that how this has happened because the developer is only checking the valid input that is being, uh, the input being given by the user, not the input which is being taken from the database. Now, this is really a point of impact you need to think about if you are a developer. Now. If you have already thinked out what could be the vulnerable query out here, that's good. Second option, you can check out in the files, the index.php or every files which is out there in the lessons. Now, that's the great part about the uh, lesson files being delivered to you. And apart from that, if you haven't found out what are the vulnerable query, let me quickly show you that. So it's an update query which is making all these vulnerabilities out here. So simply it says user set password. We give out some values in this place. Let me put a blank here where username is. You put a username out here and here it checks the old password. Now this is really a simple query and nothing malicious is being uh, checked out. Now check out what happens when I give it a admin. Now in this case I have given a double quotes and the user is ta was taking a single quote. You can also try it with a double quote. It's no harm in that. Uh, it's just a concept we are focusing on. I have given a password let's say password I have given 1234. The username that I have tried to given here was actually the vulnerable like admin single quote space hyphen hyphen then a space. Now this is the important part because since after the single this hyphen hyphen or the query deliminators everything till now here is not being regarded as uh, the query it's just a comment. So that's how we got update on an admin. Now this injection is really, really a beautiful piece of vulnerability that you can think of. So that was really exciting, uh, I think, and hope you have learned quite a lot in this video. And that's all for this video. Keep practicing and at least repeat what I do out there. Uh, that is going to give you immense knowledge. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.